Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, in verse 16 of chapter 21, right, uh -huh, David lifted up his eyes and saw the angel of the Lord stand between the earth and the heaven, mm -hmm, having a drawn sword in his hand stretched out over Jerusalem. <laughs> Then David and the elders of Israel, uh -huh, who were clothed in sackcloth, fell upon their faces. Now, this is really something that David could see an angel. Yes. And David said unto God, Is it not I that commanded the people to be numbered? Oh, even I it is that have sinned and done evil indeed. But as for these sheep, what have they done? Let thine hand, I pray thee, O Lord my God, be on me mm -hmm. and on my father's house, but not on the people, uh -huh, that they should be plagued. <laughs> it seemed that David decided that um, he was going to take the advice of Satan. Yes. God said, uh, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> then all of a sudden, these very important individuals are in sackcloth with their faces bowed to the ground. Yes as they realized exactly how big their crime was. 70,000 innocent individuals died. So you don't really understand the damages of what you're doing. An actuarial does poop. That's why I employ them with each and every lawsuit, so that when I sue the state of Washington for $200 billion, yes, for refusing to enforce the actual RCWs of the state requiring notice and opportunity to be heard. I don't look at just myself. I look at all the individuals in this great state right now. Mm -hmm. Now, an actuarial, they'll do an actual calculation of what it means to not enforce the laws of the state. Poop. Then yesterday in the study room, I brought in the state constitution, and you said, well, you can't sue the National Guard. And I thought, well, wait until you get the actual damages right now. Because I do not let attorneys decide damages. I employ actuaries whose profession is to, f to figure or calculate the actual amount of damages for allowing any judge. Yes to not enforce the requirements of the law. Now, when I said 200 billion state of Washington, yes, I'm somewhat good at figuring the approximate amount of damages and when it's a jury of my peers. Now for every state that said, well, he couldn't take over the National Guard, exactly what's the use of having that? <laughs> You know, we had National Guards to protect the residents of the individual states. Yes. To support and defend the individual constitutions of each state. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you decided that you were going to let a confederation of individuals that were so fucking important <coughs> have dogs make the decisions for the citizens. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll give you an example. <laughs> An actuary usually works in an insurance company. Yes. And I've noticed a lot of advertisements for final expense insurance. Yeah. And each of those insurance companies has figured that if we advertise on television, as stupid as it sounds, somebody's calling them. Oh. <laughs> and uh, they're getting that free book about how to uh, write down your beneficiaries. Now, it doesn't seem like it makes a lot of economic sense to advertise final expense insurance on almost every interruption of every television program. <laughs> but somebody's buying it. They're not doing it just because they want to waste money. <laughs> Why don't you get me the advertisements? Not the, the well, let's say there's an actuary. Yes, mm-hmm. And uh, they do a calculation of the number of individuals that will respond to the advertisement. Yes. <laughs> the number of policies that they will issue. Yes. And the number of persons that won't actually pay the premiums on the policies after the first year, second year, up to maybe the 30th year. Yeah. 
And then the insurance company realizes, well, if you don't pay the premium, we get to keep all that money because we don't have to pay the life insurance benefit <laughs> unless you continue to pay the premium until the time of your death. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,